shoot my first on-demand video. I've been running the machine for four and a half years. I've got this wonderful patient, Bertha. She's 90, and uh, it's about our seventh or eighth treatment now. Uh, can you tell us what it's done for her? Well, my mother had a hard time with walking. She would fall a lot. So uh, I feel with the sessions she's had so far, she does she's really a lot better like today, we went to Woodland Mall, and she walked through the Woodland Mall to kind of all the way around all the time. Um, she feels more comfortable. She isn't afraid of falls like she was. Today, even, she was walking on ice the one store we were at, and then all the cars. Uh, there's ice there, and she wasn't afraid to walk. And she has been in here in a wheelchair, right? Yes. I, I was bringing her in a wheelchair at first, and now we're to the point where she came in like today, and well, she took the elevator off as she walked in from the car. And, uh, so, yeah, thanks for that. Um, and if you're running the on demand and wondering what I'm running, I'm running patient specific almost all the time. I've done osteoporosis and uh, tested through the indication program, so I'll run what comes up. Uh, but with the osteoporosis, the back gets curved, and uh, I improvise a lot. And it doesn't look fancy, because it's not. But uh, just a book um, pushing up against that applicator can help. You know, just get flush along the tissue, because we want the applicators perpendicular to tissue. Part two, take one, uh, done with the patient-specific frequencies. And in most cases, I move on to indication programs. So I'm going to show you something else, though. That's been helping me out, and that's uh, the grounding system. Right there. Uh, it looks like I'm trying to electrocute her, but I'm not. It's only, I'm only using the ground, uh, that round bit of socket in there. This is transmitting um, electrons to Bertha's, uh, to Bertha's body through her feet. And this is the same as being barefoot on the earth. There's a lot of uh, barefoot connection videos on YouTube that you can go check out. Um, but the neat thing about pulse electromagnetic fields and the right resonant magnetic fields or, you know, a, a resonant laser or anything else like that, it would, and microcurrent as well, it'll accelerate um, the electrons to a certain area, uh, problem areas, uh, such as. But I'm just going to do a real little scan um, through all the indication programs. I'll show you how easy it is to set these programs up now with a new manual. your hand, please? Oh. Good. Uh, so those, those numbers you can see, and then you can see that. That's just large. This is not trick photography. I'm just fast at testing. Uh, exactly what this is like is your body is supposed to make all these pulse electromagnetic fields that are in here. And it's like asking the body uh, or the person a series of questions. Uh, all of a sudden, uh, you get onto a question that someone wants to move away from uh, until they have a response. Uh, their heart can start beating faster. And that's how you can get a lie detector test. Well, this works through the pulse. And the pulse responds to uh, pulse electromagnetic fields that it doesn't like so much. So we started out with about um, 160 uh, different programs, and then we uh, make a pre-selection of 11 programs. 11 programs she responded to, and they all have names. Um, so between the 11 programs, let me go through and uh, we find out which ones uh, she responded to the most, and uh, this one was Number eight out of the 11, it's 123, and that's polyneuropathy.
and to figure out how to run this pine rapid we go to our animal research manual. Okay. There's a lot of manuals these days. This one's only useful though. Got polyneuropathy right there, and neck applicator on the neck, matrix applicator, short MA4 on the thigh. I don't have an MA4, I've got an MA8, and I've got um, two hand applicators and a neck applicator, which makes me a little unique, I guess. But you want to go see how the two hand applicators treat that area uh, using pulse feedback again. Okay, we have these uh, two applicators smashed upon each other, and I'm sure you're saying, Jordy, why isn't the intensity, you know, double when you do this? And that's because the applicator is depressed. I'll show you how this cord is plugged into this uh, A4 jack, which won't modulate the intensity. You press the button. You know, the program says to run in a certain place. I always uh, pulse check the place. I only might do figure eights or uh, just do a little bit of movement, uh, slight movements around the black area. All right, I hope this uh, gets a lot of hits and come by our uh, website, longevitycentermedspa.com. Thank you.